Hello, welcome. Read the problem, pause the video, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so they say which sinusoid has the greatest amplitude? Now, sinusoid, of course, that just describes waves that are either cosine or sine waves in the sense that they repeat themselves and they have a period, right? They're periodic and they're a version of a sine because a cosine and sine waves are just out of phase with each other. They're really the same thing. You can kind of shift one over and get the other. Now the idea right here is looking for amplitude. Now amplitude is essentially the distance from the midline of a function. Let me just drag that down a little bit there. This looks like about the about to be the midline of my function here. And then I'll draw another one right here. Uh, I'm going to start by estimating and then we'll actually count. Uh, okay, let's say about here. So it's essentially the middle of the function. Uh, that's our midline. And then the amplitude is the distance from the midline to a peak or a valley, right? It's going from the midline down that distance or up that distance right there. So this is why it was one, two, three, four. Did I get it? Is it the midline four? So up two to the peak and then down two to the valley. I got the, I got the middle right there. So my amplitude is just two. So I'm gonna write A is two. Here, let's see if I got the amplitude I'm th uh, the midline correct. So here, this is a height of, it's going by, it looks by, here's the x-axis, one, two, three. So the peak has a height of three. And down here is negative five. So I'm a little bit off here on the midline. <laughs> Sorry about that. So it goes one, two, three. It's only, uh, only three away from, oh, four away. Oh, no, actually, I got it. I apologize. The midline, I'm confusing the x-axis with my midline right here. Um, so this is my midline. It's at negative one, and it's distance of four and four this way. It's right in the middle. I'm just testing to see if I got it. So the amplitude is four. So this is out. We're trying to find the greatest amplitude. And now if I look at these two numbers here, um, essentially these coefficients of sine um, or cosine define the amplitude because they stretch the sine function by that factor. So for example, the amplitude right here, it's the absolute value of three, is just three, and that's a. But that's not bigger than four. The amplitude here, again, you're looking for the absolute value. So the absolute value of negative 5 is just 5, and that's our amplitude. It's the largest amplitude. All right, hope that helped.